I was kind of keeping it together more than I thought it would, but at the end, I was, you know, I kind of, I was excited. I mean, these guys fought, man. They fought, fought, and fought. I'm mentally exhausted right now, and I'm sure they're both mentally and physically exhausted. They just played their butts off for me all night tonight. Would, what were you guys saying to each other in the dugout when you were getting them together and just keeping them focused and not getting hung up in the middle of the game but finishing strong too? Well, I kind of told them, you know, our, our word all year has been to be relentless. I told them we've got to win the latter innings of the game, six, seven, eight, ninth. That's where you win ball games. So, you know, the six innings that we won that game, hey, the seventh inning we tied. The eighth, you know, I was kind of letting those guys know where we stood. And I let them know as well, listen, this is LSU. If, if you're not aware, these guys are going to fight and they're going to continue to fight. And they're going to make it interesting in the ninth, which they did. What, um, what, were, what was going through your head during those middle innings when you were you know, able to keep putting runs on the board? Well, I was, I was, I knew we'd score some runs, but you know, my concern was stopping them from scoring. You know, that was kind of the issue early in the early innings, and Will Griffin finally came in and kind of got them off balance a little bit. We kind of got a little low on their offense, and we got going. And it just so happened we, you know, obviously separated ourselves for a few runs, and we needed every one of them. I know it's early and it counts as one game, but can this be a milestone? Well, it is. Well, we're not going to take this one lightly. I mean, let's be honest. That's LSU. I mean, it's the, the top team in the state of Louisiana. They always, you know, that's what everyone knows them as. So by no means are we going to take this win lightly for us. Yeah, it's a milestone. But I told them, I said, hey, the last thing you want to do is come out here and beat LSU today and lose to Jackson State tomorrow. Uh, so we got to move our attention forward. We're going to enjoy this until midnight, then we're going to move forward and get ready for tomorrow. How about you for your personal life? Your yeah, I love it, obviously. I mean, I'd say I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't excited that we beat LSU. I mean, obviously that place holds a, a big spot in my heart. But, gosh, I'm a competitive type person, just as Coach Maneri is. And, you know, if, if I'd have lost it, it hurt. I'm sure it hurts for him. And, you know, and I've won. I, I enjoy it, and I probably would enjoy it a little bit more than he was because he's he's used to getting a lot of wins. But winning baseball games is hard. It's hard. So I'm glad this guy pulled it off. It seemed like every single pitch you guys hit in those fifth and sixth innings were rockets. I mean, like seven of them with the extra bases. I think. You seen that kind of consistently from you guys, or is that kind of that baseball sort of? Thing? Well, you know, it's, I, I, I've kind of said this all year. You look, we've struck out quite a few times. Too many for my liking, but it's kind of feast or famine. Um, and that's what we've kind of been doing. But I told these guys, there's two things that win ball games: extra base hits win ball games. Because again, two years ago, it was single, single, single. We'd have to get three singles to score one run. Now we're hitting doubles. It's still a few bases, and it makes it easier to, you know, get some offense going. So I've seen it from the guys all fall, and they're just kind of starting to carry into the spring. A lot of those are two strike. Too. Yeah, and that's what I told him. I said, you guys, we talked about a while ago. I said, how many two out, two strikes hits do we have tonight? I said, that's what it takes if you want to be a championship team and to be a team and to beat a team like LSU's caliber and to do it consistently, you got to be able to do those things because that's what they do on a daily basis. So today we showed that we could do it, but we just got to continue to do it. Do you feel like this, you feel your team kind of coming together, um, bonding, I guess, in those moments where you've got to rally and pull together and come back? Yeah, I mean, again, you can hear the excitement in the dugout. I'm having to calm them down a little bit. Hey, listen, you know, you guys don't get too pumped up, you know, kind of keep it in check, you know, because I didn't want them to lose their energy, lose their excitement in the latter innings if, if something snowballed on us because, again, it is LSU and very likely, you know, they were going to have a big inning. We, you know, we limited it, but I wanted those guys to be prepared if they did get hit in the mouth in the late innings to be able to respond from it. Are you starting to see more of an identity with this team? And if so, what might it be? Well, you know, again, I, I'm still waiting to see who they are. I think we're showing spurts of, you know, those guys are, are showing some excitement. They're showing some energy, some determination. They're being relentless. Uh, but I still think we can be better. You know, on the mound, we still got to get better. We're thin there, and I need a few guys to step up. So we're waiting for a few guys to show their true colors and hopefully fill some roles for us. Cool.